In this video, I'm going to share with you my upcoming plans for weekly video content and a little bit about my story. Hey world, Tiffany Stacy here, aka Tiffany Wilson, and I am the owner of Tiffany Stacy Photography and Video LLC. And I'm also a content creator. Well, we made it. We made it through the craziness of 2020, and now here we are, 2021, and it looks like it's just as crazy. But we're not going to focus on all of that. I actually wanted to get on here because I wanted to share with you all that you know I have people that come up to me and ask me for advice on whether it be business or video production or photography, um, content creation. And I figured after taking some time to myself in 2020 to really understand exactly what I love to do, what I love to do is help people and I love to provide advice, especially in video form. And so I felt like this would be the perfect opportunity to create videos, at least weekly, to share with you my tips. So I'll be posting new videos every Thursday. I can only commit to one video a week because it's just, if anybody knows anything about video production, it is a lot and it's very time consuming. So I think I can, I can, I can shell out a quality video once a week. So my first tip for this week is carving out your own path. I am a huge advocate of carving out your own path. I've seen, I've done it multiple times throughout my career and I felt like this would be the perfect starting point because especially in these times right now where there's a lot of uncertainty and we're not sure what to do next. And for me, you know, I've, I've been through that. I've been through tough, really tough times. And particularly when I first graduated, which was about 11 years ago, I am a Temple University graduate. I graduated with a degree in broadcast journalism. Also a furniture store here in Philadelphia seeing stability in sales during this economic downturn. If you would like to know more about the Temple Bus Shuttle Service, log on to www.temple.edu slash facilities. Reporting for Temple News, I'm Tiffany Wilson. So I have a little bit of experience when it comes to news and and um, being in production and all that great stuff. And so when I graduated, you know, my dreams and aspirations were to be this reporter or anchor someday on TV and report the news. I figured I would probably start my career out in the middle of nowhere and then build my way up to work in a top news organization. But that did not happen. You know, I got out and I thought I had everything that you would imagine as far as, you know, I had my recommendations, I had, you know, networking, I had done that, you know, I had my internships, which by the way, I had interned um, at CNN in New York City during my last semester of school. I was commuting two hours, four, uh, two hours to New York City and two hours back, so it was a four hour commute. Every single day I had to go and I was plus I was trying to graduate and I was a full time student and it was rough. <laughs> I nearly had a breakdown at the end of um, my final semester. But anyway, when I finally got out, you know, I was trying I was applying for jobs like you're supposed to and I wasn't hearing anything back and it was just it was terrible during this time. I was also working odd jobs, I was working in retail. I did some catering on the weekends. I also did freelance video editing on the weekends as well. And so that was crazy. But I started to think that, you know what? I can't sit and wait for someone to give me an opportunity, hand me an opportunity. So I'm like, I need to figure out something. I need to utilize these skills that I have in editing or in, um, you know, and just uh, create being creative. So at the time, YouTube was still up and coming. You know, people were experimenting with it. And I figured, hey, I could do that. And so I picked a topic that I was really interested in at the time. I had just went natural. I was a natural hair person. And, you know, the natural hair movement was starting to boom at this point. And, you know, I started doing a lot of research. And I'm like, you know, what? I can share my insight with people through YouTube. Yeah, well worth the $70 pack of crop warmers. Yeah. 
So I create a YouTube channel and then I created videos. Every week I post a new video on various topics, whether it be hair care, on different products I was using. And it was fun and I ended up um, growing a pretty decent audience from it. People loved it. And I mean, I had people from all over the world and I even made a little bit of income on it, which was very surprising. So it is a real thing. You can make money on YouTube, but that wasn't my primary goal was to make money. It was really to share my insight and to, you know, educate people and also, um, you know, just connect with people. So I did that for a few years and then I ended up, um, I wanted to change. I wanted to do something different. So I started to get more into photography because I wanted to get better at video because with, with um, video, you know, you have to pay attention to composition and lighting. And I felt like if I understood the foundational stuff of photography, I can easily translate that into video. So I went and start shooting pictures and taking pictures of people and going to events and meeting people and trying to get a better understanding. Um, I also was buying, I was buying equipment. I was saving up my money and buying equipment as time went on. So I did that. And then I ended up getting a um, full-time job in 2014. And I knew then that I'm like, I have to continue to invest in this. I gotta continue to invest in my own money, my time, uh, whether it be taking classes, buying better gear, just learning all that I could and invest in myself. So that is what led me to uh, creating my business in 2015. Since then, I've worked with nonprofits, I've done weddings, I've worked with small business owners, and uh, I've worked, I've done conferences, I've done all kinds of things. And I found out the things that I like and I found the things that I don't like. And what has always stuck out to me was I always loved video, I always advocated for it, and I felt like people don't fully understand how powerful it can be. Now, obviously with COVID, everybody's saying that, yeah, you need video to communicate with Zoom and all that good stuff. It's very important. So I wanna at least use this platform to share a little bit of that insight because it is, it is very important. So as you can see, you know, I've invested my time, my money, I've invested a lot of stuff. I've sacrificed. And I just felt like I've always had this strong desire to carve a path for myself, even when you know people didn't hand me opportunities. I was never handed an opportunity. I had to work for it. And I always encourage people to, if there's something that you really truly like to do, do it. Figure out a way to do it. Save your money, do whatever you had to do. Make sacrifices and just do it because you'll feel so much happier about yourself and you'll feel more accomplished when you feel like you actually tried to do something. Cause it's not easy doing this and, and like leaving a job and, and trying to, to create something, create a business is by far the hardest thing I've ever done. Harder than school, school was easy compared to this because you, you don't have anybody that's holding you accountable. So you, it's up to you to make the best out of that situation. So I hope this made sense. I hope this is somewhat encouraging, you know, as a new year. So I wanted to start off with a positive note. So if anything, please connect with me on um, all my social media sites. I have put the link in the description or caption box or whatever, where, wherever you're watching this from. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. IG, um, Facebook, and I also have my website information on there too. So just click away and um, I will be back next Thursday. So have a great week, be safe, be healthy, and I'll be back next Thursday. All right.